I'm former NFL player turned chef Darrell Smith, and I'm on a mission to spread love through food, giving a fresh new twist on home-cooked meals. <laughs> it's all mad good food. I recently took my first trip to Negril, Jamaica, and honestly, I fell in love with the food, the culture, and the people. And your Uncle Rel wants to share some of those recipes with you. We got jerk chicken, we got ackee and saltfish, which is the national treasure of Jamaica, as well as a few fun Caribbean sides. And oh yeah, I got some friends joining me. Let's do it. A lot of people will say that you can't find good Jamaican jerk, so instead, I figured I'd make my own and show you how to do it as well. Over here, we got some scotch bonnet pepper. We got a little bit of garlic. We got some ginger. And we're gonna add these to our mortar and pestle. We also got a little bit of scallion. Going to Jamaica, you realize why they eat so much jerk. Because literally, you could walk down the street and see all of these things just chilling on trees. Or It's literally in their backyard. Is that fresh. I'm pretty sure Jazz had to go all over to find all these ingredients. We're just trying to get this down to a paste. There we go. We want to get this as smooth as possible so we don't get too many chunks in our jerk. When we get to this point, right, you see it all broken up, this is a good moment to add some salt. And what that salt does is almost acts like little baby rocks. And it gets in there, and it helps to break down these vegetables so that we can create that nice paste that we want. And now what we want to do is start to add our other ingredients to our base. We got a little bit of smoky and sweet with this dark soy sauce. It's almost like a molasses. It adds a nice color to it, and it also helps to char when we put it on the grill. Same thing with this brown sugar, it adds that sweetness, and it gives you that color that we like with our jerk chicken. We got a little bit of garlic powder, adobo seasoning. This right here is probably the most important ingredient. This is allspice or pimento berries, and this is one of those things that gives it that signature jerk taste that we like. And it won't be jerk if you don't have that. And we'll mix all of these ingredients together until we form a nice paste. Jerk is actually a dry seasoning that was developed by Tainos to preserve meat over time. What happened was the enslaved Africans came over and escaped into the mountains, met up with the Tainos, and together they would cook this meat underground so that you couldn't smell it or see the smoke. But today, Young Guerrero wants you to get all these smells. All right? Now, let's move on to our chicken. We're gonna get this jerk marinade all over it. So the flavor of jerk is smoky, is sweet, is spicy, delicious. Now I'm gonna take these mitts right here and just rub it all into the bird. Usually you would wanna marinate these for about 12 to 24 hours, but luckily we have a Jazz who has already done this for me. Thanks, Jazz. Chickens are marinated. I'm gonna put these on the grill. And we have a hot side and we have a not so hot side. To start off, I wanna go skin side down on the hot side. And we just gonna put this bad boy just like this. Oh yeah. That's sweet, sweet music. You wanna close that lid so we can keep that heat high. But you also wanna check it around, I would say four to six minutes because we don't want those seasonings to burn. Look at that. Right? I'm a happy man right now, boy. <laughs> when we come back, my friends are gonna join me and make some ackee and saltfish. At Honda, we know you have to drive through the mud if you want to reach the rainbow. The all-new CRV and CRV hybrid, part of the Honda line of rugged vehicles. Welcome. What up? <laughs> What up, though? <laughs> How are you? I'm very good. Tiffany and Rob, welcome to Mad Good Food. Oh, well, what up, though, Mad Good Food? Good to see you. This is a pleasure to be yeah. here with you. All right, I'm going to fill you in. We got some jerk chicken we got sitting to the side. I'm going to get into this ackee and saltfish. I'm going to give you both tomatoes. Okay. Okay. So just dice these up into some little squares. OK. While you're chopping the tomatoes, I'm going to get started by sweating these onions. OK. Just going to pop these in. We have uh -oh. our green onion. We got a little bit of thyme. OK. Red pepper. Yeah. Okay. Come on and all here. I'm doing. OK. You smell that, right? Oh, my goodness. You want to? Here, you stir it. Oh, there you go, Mama. OK. There you go, Mama. Oh, yeah. We're going to add the saltfish now. So with saltfish, this is something that you have to extract the salt out of. Okay. And so I would recommend boiling it, but you can let it sit in water and soak overnight. 
Okay. I'll put some soft fish in. And with this, all you want to do is just flake this into our cooked down veggies. Ooh. So you're just shredding it up. Just shred, shred it up. Shred it. Okay. For this, <laughs> you always want to make sure if you're cooking on a grill, you keep that lid closed. Because if not, the heat just escapes and it's like, oh, bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Now we want to add the ackee. All right. Let me add this in. Um, it's crazy how much it looks wait. like scrambled eggs. And for it the does. longest time, yeah. I thought it was scrambled eggs. And now it's time to make some festival. Let me let me walk you through what I got. I got okay. flour, okay. cornmeal. We have sugar, salt, and a little baking powder. Mm -hmm. So now all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of milk. What you want to do is make these into, I would say, like, cylinders. How many should I get out of this piece? Two. Uh, two? You probably get about two out of that one, okay. yeah. We're just going to drop these into some oil. Mm, 360. Ooh, that oil bag. Here, let me show you one. That's a good tan. So how exactly do you know when they're done? Is it based on color? I will recommend putting a toothpick Plunk. in the middle. Oh. And then if you get the right temperature, usually mm -hmm. you can tell by the color. Hot, hot, hot. I think we are ready to get into this. We got our festival ackee sawfish, and most importantly, we got that jerk chicken. What piece you want? The white. Oh, Look how juicy mm -hmm. that piece of meat is. It's hella juicy. There you go, my Thank mama. you. You're very welcome. This looks so ready. good. Cheers. Yo. Mm. Ooh, what the butter knife, baby. Hella juicy. Look at that. You know what? You know what? You know what? You want to do my dance? What's the dance? Mm. My hips don't move <laughs> like yours, <laughs> Uncle Rell. Help me out. Hey, Amen. This, this balance of flavor, though, like with the salt fish and the aki and the peppers and the scotch bonnet, it's just, it's so good. I don't know what else. It's mad good. Yep. It's mad good. Oh, man. This trip I had to Jamaica was truly magical. I can still see the persistence, the perseverance, and the soul of our people. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.